Hey Bricks, it's Brickley here and in today's video we are going to take a look at every Lego The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set ever made by the Lego group. There have been five waves of these two magnificent themes so far and let's go ahead and jump into the first wave. Before we take a look at the first wave of the Lego Lord of the Rings theme, I do want to mention that I won't be including any of the poly bags or even dimension minifigure packs. Uh, in order to lay focus on only the sets with a box. So for both themes, there were over 30 sets released. So I definitely categorized all of the sets in the order of the waves which they released. So starting in May 2012, the spring wave, we actually got seven Lord of the Rings sets, starting with the smallest set which was Gandalf Arrives, and you actually got Frodo Baggins in his Shire robes, Gandalf the Grey, and a nice new mold for the horse, which I think, I I believe it was exclusive to the Lego Lord of the Rings theme back in the day. You also got some fireworks back in the Chariot of Gandalf, and this was just overall a great way to jumpstart your Lego The Lord of the Rings collection. Another small set for this year was Shelob Attacks. You got the big Shelob Spider, Frodo, and in addition to this set, two exclusive minifigures. Of course, Samwise Gamgee, uh, who still up to this point you can only get within this set. And of course, Gollum uh, with his big wide eyes. Uh, but nowadays you can also get him cheaper in the Riddles of the Ring set, uh, but only with different eyes. Overall, this was a great set back in the day to get some... Uh, unique new minifigures for, of course, your fellowship. Another smaller set was the Urukai Army set, uh, which I think uh, we can call a battle pack uh, because it included four Urukai soldiers uh, with which you can really swap out the accessories, the armor, and of course the weaponry. You got a nice ballista over here for your army, and of course a nice wall piece which you could connect to your Lego The Battle of Helm's Deep set. And in addition to that, also two Rohan minifigures, one of them being a main character, Eomir, but you could easily just swap out some accessories to just create an awesome Rohan army with a lot of these minifigures. Then moving on to some of the bigger sets, we actually got the Attack on Weathertop set with another exclusive minifigure, which was Mary and... This was really a great set to get Aragorn, of course, uh, the cheapest way actually to get him uh, back in the day. And then you also got Frodo with the, a different cape color. Uh, but this was a great set because you got two Nazgul or Ring Wraith minifigures. And I myself managed to get nine of them. So if you want to check out my entire Lego The Lord of the Rings collection, of course do so by clicking the card on the top right corner of the screen. The Orc Forge also was a nice set of this year because you get two exclusive Mordor Orcs and of course Lurt's Newborn. You also got the exclusive armor uh, to this set, uh, which was the Urukai armor with of course the Hand of Saruman on the helmet and on the shield, which, which was a great way to really make your army die first. So I got two of these myself and this was just a great set because you got really a lot of functions uh, to really uh, some functions to melt your iron and uh, heat it up and just forge some Urukai swords. So this was a great set overall. The second biggest set in this uh, Lord of the Rings wave of 2012 was the Mines of Moria set. And this actually had a lot of functions. You could drop the skeleton down the well, uh, destroy the tomb of Balin, uh, throw down some pillars, and of course destroy the gate uh, into the tomb. You also got a nice cave troll and two Moria orcs within this set. Of course, a lot of exclusive minifigures uh, such as Pippin, Legolas, and Boromir to this set at the time. Which, which was really a great way to collect a lot of minifigures for your Fellowship of the Ring. And it also included Gimli within this set. Uh, and this set is actually the cheapest way, uh, this was the cheapest way in 2012 to get your, your hands on Gimli. And then the biggest set of 2012, you got the Helm's Deep set, the Battle of Helm's Deep, set number 9474. 
and this was just the, the best set of this year. You got a couple of Yurikai minifigures, four actually, one of them being the Berserker who lights the bomb, Aragorn, Haldir, King Theoden, and of course Gimli, and you got also got a nice horse. This was a great set because you got a lot of play features, such as the exploding wall, and of course the opening gate. And the ladder was also a nice addition to this set. And in addition to that, you could also merge the Yurikai army set and of course the Battle of Helm's Deep set together, which was overall a nice function. This set had a lot of detail, and I definitely love picking up this set back in the day. The LEGO The Hobbit theme started in autumn of 2012, and this wave actually included six sets, and starting with the first set, the, this was the Rills for the Ring set, including Bilbo Baggins and, of course, Gollum, which was quite a cheap way to get these two minifigures in your hands. In addition, this set also included the function where you could push out the ring so Bilbo Baggins could find it. Another small set for the Lego The Hobbit theme in 2012 was the Escape from Mirkwood Spider set, including 298 pieces, two spiders, Legolas Greenleaf, Tauriel, and of course two dwarves. Killy and Philly. This was a great way to get your hands on some dwarves and of course also some nice pieces over here for darker trees for the Mirkwood Forest. Another surprising set was the Barrel Escape set uh, for actually the Desolation of Smaug movie uh, which gave a little bit of an idea of what the trilogy would look like. You got the function where you could drop the barrels into the river of course and some elven guards. Also, Bilbo Baggins was included in this set, Gloin and Oin the Dwarves, and of course a nice prison with some barrels and such. Awesome set, and I really had a fun time with this back in the day. The Attack of the Warg set also was released in the year 2012, and this set actually included the Warg molds for the first time in the Lego Hobbit theme. This set also included two Hunter Orcs, Yasnag, of course, Thorin, Oakenshield, and Before the Dwarf, all exclusive minifigures to this set at that point. And one of my all-time favorite sets from the LEGO The Hobbit theme uh, was the Unexpected Gathering set, actually Bag End, where you got a couple of dwarves, you got Balin, Dwalin, Biffer and Bomber, and of course, Bilbo Baggins with his Shire robes and Gandalf. And this set really was unique because you got the, of course, Shire door over here of Bag End with, of course, the awesome marking on the door and some awesome features inside of the set. The, the garden of the set really was just so detailed and I loved playing with this as a kid. Now I actually uh, revitalized this set because I got the instruction from LEGO Mock Block and expanded it so it right now has over four rooms at the moment which is just an increase of so many parts so if you want to check out that mock i got the card on the top right corner of the screen and then finally we got the goblin king battle uh, which was the biggest set of 2012 including 841 pieces the big fig the goblin king three goblin minifigures uh, which were actually they were all different, and you could really customize your goblin army. Even though I would have loved to have seen uh, the mold which actually LEGO wanted to design, but then they decided to just add some head pieces for the goblins to keep them uh, LEGO-like. Which I think is a, a big shame, because LEGO really had an amazing mold for these minifigures laying around. And then you also got three dwarves. You got Ori, Nori, and Dori, and then of course Gandalf the Grey. And this set really had some nice features like dropping the ladder, of course, also the bridge and the cage, which you could really hide at the back of the throne. And the throne really was a great uh, feature of this set because you could really fit the Goblin King over there on his throne. And you had really had a lot of playability room, but also display uh, room. Uh, to put it on your shelf and i actually have it still have it on my shelf a little while later the lego Lord of the rings uh, theme actually continued with the second wave 
in the summer of 2013, actually in June, and they created four sets, actually a fifth set on the 1st of July, which we're going to start with right now, which is the Tower of Orthanx set, which is the biggest Lego The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set ever out there. It included so many nice features and a lot of awesomely detailed floors. Of course, a nice minifigure selection. And if we're going to look at Grima Wormtongue, he's actually one of the most expensive LEGO The Lord of the Rings minifigures out there. He has a worth of around $40 for this, that minifigure. And the highest price on Bricklink is, I believe, over $100 at the moment, which is just insane for such a small figure uh, within such a big set. But I believe that this set really was a great uh, scene for the LEGO Lord of the Rings. The smallest set for this theme, which I think was really unnecessary, uh, was the Wizard Battle set, including 113 pieces. Uh, they really could have just limited this to the Tower of Orthanx set, uh, because you just get two of the same scenes. I mean... The throne room of Saruman already was cre uh, well located in the Tower of Orthanx set. So why create another set for it? I mean, you get the nice Eye of Sauron head over here. Uh, but other than that, this really doesn't add a lot of value to your LEGO collection. You do get the opportunity to get Saruman in a cheaper way than buying the Tower of Orthanx set. But other than that, I really think that LEGO should have focused on another scene uh, like maybe Adoros or something. Just a little small hall uh, like Adoros would have been great uh, with King Theoden as an old and possessed man by Saruman. And finally, in this year, we actually got Rivendell, the Council of Elrond, including 243 pieces. You got Arwen Elrond. A cheaper way to get Gimli and Frodo actually and this set was really great because you also got another sticker for the great eye and of course a lot of awesome pieces uh, which were really combined and put to good use in this set this was really a great set for display case and of course playability uh, but the most in interesting part is that you got Arwen and of course Lord Elrond. A set which I actually got four times is the Battle at the Black Gate set. And you could just create a bigger Black Gate because this was a total modular set. Now, this actually included Gandalf the White, the Mouth of Sauron, Aragorn in a sort of kingly uh, robe. And you also got two Mortar Orcs which was just great to expand your mortar orc army and in addition to that also a nice eagle over there as you can see on the top of the box art so i got four of these and i'm actually going to combine them to a bigger black gate and then the final set of the wave of 2013 for the lego Lord of the rings was actually the pirate ship ambush of the course air and you got a lot of awesome shields in this set Awesome minifigures as well. You got two of the undead soldiers, of course, the undead king, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. Great set for some uh, competing be between those characters. And then two minifigures and a Corsair minifigure. Also a nice catapult in addition to the ship. You got some awesome exclusive sails to this set, which you can actually use to create the impress from... Uh, the the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, uh, I really uh, only noticed that just now, but this is a great set, I really loved it, and it is getting a little dusty in my room, so I should definitely uh, pick it up soon and just get that dust off. The only uh, downside of this set is that the front part over there, the spike, which is sticking out at the bottom, uh, tends to fall off easily, but other than that, this set was great, and you had a lot of room for some display and you can even build your Corsair army if you manage to get a couple of uh, different hair pieces or even different pirate bodies. This was a great set and I hope one of you got three of these. Let me know if you got more than one of these because that's just awesome. The second wave of the Hobbit theme also came in the year 2013 but now it came in the winter and these winter sets actually included only four of the Hobbit sets for the Desolation of Smaug. 
and the first set, which wasn't really that accurate to the movie, was the Dol Guldor ambush set. This was a nice way to build your uh, Gundabad orc army, but even though you got two Gundabad orcs, it really wasn't that great to get a lot of because you got Bayorn over here. And I can imagine that you don't want 100 of the Bayorns, so I only limited myself to getting one back in the day, unfortunately enough. You also got some nice functions over here where you can trap Bayorn and use some booby traps, of course. So overall, this was a great set and, of course, a nice set to get some dark bluish gray bricks. And then, finally, LEGO decided to give us a, a method to build our Mirkwood Elven army uh, so we could just face off some Gundabad orcs back in the day. This set also included a warg over here, as you can see, two Gundabad orcs, and of course, what you've all been waiting for, the Mirkwood Elven army. Uh, these elves aren't really that appreciated. I mean, we never got some real elven soldiers which you see at the end of the battle of the five armies movie but i do really appreciate these minifigures because green is my favorite color and i think that these really are nice i actually got four of this set and it really is a great way to build an army i think that these minifigures are really great you also get some nice shields on the wall and of course uh, a nice built tree and a little weapon stash, stash over there, as you can see on the far right corner of the screen. One of the bigger sets of this wave was the Lake Town Chase set, where you actually got a Lake Town Soldier, of course also the Headmaster, Bilbo Baggins, Thorin, and some other sort of torso printing, and of course Bart the Bowman. This was really a great set, because it had a lot of functions and a lot of display uh, ability. You really could put up a lot of scenes with this set and if you have the newer set you can just make a little lake town and uh, smaug battle with it so it, overall it's a great set and i think that lego put a lot of detail into this set of course especially uh, with the snow on top of the rooftops which is truly an amazing detail and the usage of those dark green bricks also is quite nice and then moving to the last set of this wave we got the dol Guldor battle actually including 797 pieces which is quite a lot you got gandalf radagast the brown which is actually an exclusive minifigure to this set so it was pretty a pretty pricey way to get radagast and of course i was astonished when i first saw this set because i was finally able to get azok the defiler and of course two new Gundabad orcs. Over there also in the back you got the Necromancer and you could actually uh, just attach this set uh, to uh, the Dol Guldor ambush so you really could just uh, create uh, the wizardry hill of Dol Guldor. This was just a great set because you also got a lot of nice dark bluish gray pieces so if you didn't want to build this you could also just build your own Dol Guldor set. I think that LEGO really pulled off a great creation with this because it really gives the vibe of Dol Guldor within the movie. So I think that LEGO did a good job on this and of course also the statue over there in the middle is a great addition. And then lastly but not least we're gonna move on to uh, the 2014 set wave of The Hobbit. So LEGO actually quit the LEGO Lord of the Rings uh, since 2013 which is absolutely a shame i think that we're gonna need to bring back the lego lord of the rings so if you want to see the lego lord of the rings come back to life of course comment down below hashtag bring back the lego lord of the rings because we're gonna need this theme to return and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at this wave and finish the video so the witch king battle was the smallest set of this wave including 101 pieces and it was just a great set because you got Elrond in battle armor. You got Lady Galadriel over here. Such a great minifigure. I loved that I got finally got a Lady Galadriel minifigure. And then also uh, the biggest part of this set uh, was the Witch King of Angmar. Uh, in of course his uh, Wraith form in of course the Wraith world. And I love this minifigure, especially because it is a glow-in-the-dark minifigure. Overall, the build for this set uh, really isn't that special. You can add it to your Dol Guldor 
uh, Hill of Sorcery. But other than that, I think that, that this set only means a lot for the minifigures. Next up, we got a nice addition to your Lake Town set, uh, the Lake Town Chase set, uh, which is actually the, the attack on Lake Town set, including 313 pieces. And this was quite a nice way to get uh, Tauriel, of course, Bard, and Bane over there uh, with a little bit of dirt on his face. You also got two new t new style uh, styled hunter orcs with a really new hair piece over there. As you can see, this was really a great hair piece to get back in the, in the day. Uh, you also got some nice functions like the black arrow over there, and of course also a little function where you could just uh, well throw some fire on the orcs. Overall, I think that this really is a great way uh, to display Lake Town if you add this to the other Lake Town set. Uh, and of course, Smaug on top. That would be just a great way to display Lake Town with, of course, Smaug. And you also can see on the box art that you have Smaug over there flying in the back, uh, which really gives me the chills because it was really an intense scene seeing Smaug fly over Lake Town and burning everything. So overall a great set. And then second to last we got the Battle of the Five Armies. Pretty ironic because uh, this set actually uh, takes place in Dill over here and Azog and Thorin never fought in Dill. They fought on uh, the hill over there. And actually this set includes Bard, an Eagle, two a newer Gundabad orcs with a different face printing and then also you got Dane and Legolas over here. This set really was great. I love the fact that you got Dill. Finally a Dill set. Uh, finally Lego putting attention to uh, some scenery. And I think that this Lego set really was put together well. Because of all the detail uh, which went into the tower over there. As you can see with those nice arch pieces on the top. And then the catapult or ballista whatever you want to call it is also quite nice, which you actually can use for your Yurikai army if you just switch out uh, the little uh, arrows over there on the front uh, with some hooks. So I think that this set is also a great set. And this was a little cheaper way to get uh, yourself an ass off the Defiler, of course, with his mouth open instead of it being closed in the Dolgold Door battle set. And then lastly, but not least, we got the Lonely Mountain set. And this is actually my all-time favorite Lego The Hobbit set because it includes Smaug the Dragon. And this actually is just the main reason why you would get this set. I mean, you get a couple of nice dwarves in their war armor. And of course, Bilbo Baggins over there. You got the nice Arkenstone Stone over there in the back on the throne. Some treasury, a lot of gold bricks. This is really a great way to get a lot of gold and sand green bricks into your collection and the build itself was really nice don't get me wrong uh, but the only reason i love this set was because you get smaug the dragon and smaug actually has skyrocketed into price uh, he actually is worth around 100 to a maximum of 300 dollars on bricklink it's just insane so i'm pretty happy i got this dragon uh, i'm really fond of this set i think that the features that this set really were great i got this set back when i was i believe 10 or 11 years old and i remember playing with it a lot i actually uh, built a mock back in the day for this where i used a lot of golden pieces and i just put smog underneath them and just made him sleep and wake up with bilbo i played endlessly with this set and Right now, I'm actually having it on display. It's a great set. And then also, in addition to the Lego Lord of the Rings theme, we also got the Battle of Helm's Deep customizable strategy game, which really looks fun. You can see that Lego really put a lot of effort into these Lego games. I really love the idea that they included Lego the Lord of the Rings into this game. You can see that this is the Helm's Deep battle, of course, with a lot of nice functions of course over there the Hornburg, uh, the fortress and of course the tower over there the watchtower and the deeping wall with a lot of awesome ma nano minifigures and then also in addition to this game lego released another game which is the unexpected journey uh, 
game, which is actually a memory game. So it's pretty fun. You can actually play these games right now and just have a lot of fun uh, with them. This also included a couple of nice, nice builds for, of course, those, uh, well, Shire uh, bag and houses. And then also a couple of those printed tiles, uh, which you really could use in your Lego The Lord of the Rings collection. And even if you wanted to create a smaller uh, a modular mock for the entirety of Middle-earth, you could really use the minifigures uh, from this game. And these actually were all of the Lego Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit sets. So make sure you comment your favorite one down below. Do you have all the sets in your possession? Let me know because I'm curious to see if I'm one of the only ones who has all the sets. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Of course, go subscribe to Brickly for more awesome Lord of the Rings content. And ring that notification bell to stay updated on when I post something. And I will see you in the next video video.